Good morning, All Saints. Uh, my live stream <laughs> failed, but I thought I'd share with you uh, the first sunrise of 2021. Uh, we're looking towards Piestawa Peak, um, towards 7th Street in Phoenix. And I just wanted to read to you today. At the beginning of the new year, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. This saying, which is found in a broad variety of lands, does not arise from the brash worldly wisdom of an incorrigible. It instead reveals deep Christian insight. At the beginning of a new year, many people have nothing better to do than to make a list of bad deeds and resolve from now on. How many such from now ons have there already been? To begin with better intentions, but they are still stuck in the middle of their paganism. They believe that a good intention already means a new beginning. They believe that on their own they can make a new start whenever they want. But that is an evil illusion. Only God can make a new beginning with people whenever God pleases. But not people with God. Therefore, people cannot make a new beginning at all. They can only pray for one. Where people are on their own and live the, by their own devices, there is only the old, the past. Only where God is can there be a new beginning. We cannot command God to grant it. We can only pray to God for it. And we can pray only when we realize that we cannot do anything that we, are, that we have achieved, reached our, our limit. Let me read that again. That we have reached our limit. That someone else must make that new beginning. So Bonhoeffer writes, If we survive during the coming weeks or months, we shall be able to see quite clearly that all has turned out for the best. The idea that we could have avoided many of life's difficulties if we had taken things more cautiously is too foolish to be entertained for the moment. As I look back on your, on your past, I am so convinced that what has happened hitherto or, or sorry, what has happened hitherto has been right, that I feel that what is happening now is right too. To renounce a full life and its real joys in order to avoid pain is neither Christian nor human. And Bonhoeffer, it, this is a letter to Renata and Eberhard Bidgay, written in January 23rd, 1944 in Tegel. So in 2 Corinthians 5, 16 to 17, from now on, therefore, we regard no one from a human point of view, even though we once knew Christ from a human point of view, we know him no longer in that way. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new.